reunited with his long lost family, a 90 year old man left on a doorstep as a newborn finds the family he never knew. Our Don Timoney has the story. The first one I found um, actually has my dad in the box in which he was found on the doorstep of the house. Marilyn Haig digging up newspaper articles of her dad from April of 1932. The oldest daughter of Jim Scott of Lafayette Hill spending years trying to help him find information about his family. He'd been left on the doorstep of this Pittsburgh home at just 12 days old. In my opinion was somebody couldn't afford another mouth to feed and they took my dad to a better area of town, I think, in hopes of finding a family that might be able to care for him. That baby was named James Edward Broad after the two police officers who drove him to the hospital, Broad for the street where he was left. He was adopted at two, but had no idea until he wanted to join the Naval Air Cadets in 1953 and needed his birth certificate. Under parents, it said unknown. So what do you mean unknown? That's when the 90-year-old learned the whole story. I was never really upset about it because I was so well cared for. But he always wanted answers. In 2016, he wrote a letter, My Christmas Wish, to find the family he never knew. Marilyn, working through Ancestry.com, began to unravel the mystery. The family providing DNA, eventually learning that their father had 14 siblings, eight still alive. Scott finally meeting two of his brothers and a sister. It was like I knew him forever. Mm -hmm. There wasn't strained at all. Neither one of us held back. It was just really good. The resemblance with his brother Felix uncanny. Scott's daughters say their dad always stressed the importance of family. And now they're getting to know relatives they didn't know even existed, including some 31 cousins. These people, they welcomed us with open arms. I mean, we're, we really dropped a, a bombshell on them. Um, and they didn't, they just welcomed us. Just the hug, it was a true hug. It was, you didn't want to let go. It was like, where have you been? our entire lives. It's just been a wonderful, wonderful relationship. The families are planning on getting together somewhere in between here and Pittsburgh in January, possibly Gettysburg, in hopes of getting to know more of their long-lost loved ones. Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News.